Okay, welcome to your routine for low back pain. This one's gonna open up the whole lower body area, hips, low back, legs. So let's get started. Bring your feet shoulder width. Soften your knees, toes pointing forward. Let's work a little bit on our stance here. Try to find your tailbone tucking under a little bit. So our back, instead of those back muscles being engaged, keeping the low back arched, we're just kind of dropping the tailbone underneath and relaxing the low back. As we do this, let's bring the hands over the belly and just start to breathe to the lower abdomen. Try to start taking some deep breaths. Feel the belly expand and relax with your breath. It's like there's a balloon in the lower abdomen, inflating and deflating. Just a couple deep breaths. Starting out, connecting to our center. Okay, let's take our breath to our low back. <clears throat> Hands over your low back. If you can, try to reach above your hips. So we're not down here or up here if you can. As we breathe in, we're gonna tuck the tailbone under, sink the chest. And as we exhale, we're just gonna come back to neutral. We inhale, tuck under. Exhale to neutral. So your inhale, you're actually trying to expand into your lower back. And feel the low back expand into your hands. Inhale, expand. Exhale, relax. On that inhale, think about the front of your abdomen contracting. Exhale, relaxing. It's almost like you're doing a little sit-up. You activate your abdominal muscles a bit. And this helps push the breath back to the lower back. We minimize the space at the front of the body, so the breath has to go to the back. We call this kidney breathing because we kind of breathe through the kidneys here. You feel it expanding your low back muscles, expanding your low back ribs. In Chinese medicine, the chi of the kidneys is largely related to low back pain. So we try to supplement the kidney chi and also decongest the flow of energy through the kidney meridian. Good. Let's take us into a bigger spinal movement with spinal cord breathing. You're going to inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, sink your chest back. Inhale, chest forward, tilt your hips forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, the hips tilt back. Inhale, chest forward, try to open along the front of the body, front of the spine. Exhale, open along the back of the spine, make your spine round. Inhale. So what you want to make sure you're not doing here is hinging at the hips, right? You want to sink back in the chest. So the front of your hips are actually, it opens more, the crease of your hips, rather than closing the crease. So as we exhale, we open the crease and sink at the chest, at the sternum. Good, we're gonna reverse our breath here. So exhale, round, hold here, and inhale. And then exhale, chest forward, hips tilt forward. And inhale, sink your chest back. Use the inhale to expand your back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back. Good, relax down. <clears throat> We're gonna circle the hips. Now if you have a lot of pain and stiffness, you might make this a pretty small circle. If you feel like you can go further, make it a big circle. Just using this to open up through the hip joint as well as the waist, lower spine. Good, go the other direction.
Big circle, should feel good. If you feel any pinching in your spine or your hips, make the circle smaller. Good, come to the center. Nice. Bring your knees together, bend the knees, have your hands over the knees. We're gonna circle the knees together. It's looking to get some good circulation into the knees, but you might also feel that your ankles are moving here. A little movement in the hips, a little release of pressure at the low back. That's what we're looking for. Just to circulate, circulate the energy, circulate the blood. Go the other direction. Generally in Chinese medical theory, when there's chronic pain in the body, they say it's usually caused by qi stagnation. So the qi has stopped flowing to a particular region. It's gotten stuck. It's a traffic jam. Oftentimes, if that qi stagnation lingers too long or becomes too strong, it becomes blood stagnation and the pain becomes sharper. So we usually ameliorate stagnation of the qi and blood with movement. So we want to gently move the areas in ways that aren't painful, don't make the pain worse that just help improve the circulation to the areas. Good, straighten your legs, slide down, find a little stretch. If you're super tight, your low back's killing it, you might not come down much at all. You might just have your hands at the thighs and come down. Either way, try not to round too much at your low back. You don't wanna hurt your spinal discs here. So keep a relatively straight spine and just come down just as far as you need to go to get a little stretch. Might not be very far or it might be a little lower wherever it is. I'm just going to take a couple deep breaths. Just slowly, slowly easing in. Getting more flexible over long periods of time, months, years to become more flexible. So don't think about it in terms of minutes or days. You know, it's a long process. But more than flexibility, what we want is to encourage the muscles to relax, to let go of their tension toxins and stress. Bring both your hands to the left leg, outside of the left leg. So maybe you're up here, maybe you're down by the shin, maybe your hands are all the way at the foot. Either way, take your left hand to your lower back, back of the hand against the back. Let's do a little twist to your left. This is to get the stretch a little bit more up into the left side of the leg. Nice deep breath. Good, hands down to the right leg, right hand behind your back. Just like this. You twist. Folding forward as you twist. Release to the center. Roll it up. Good, shake your legs out. Ah, very nice. All right, let's use a little knocking and twisting to stimulate this area. Find your feet under your shoulders. Everybody's favorite Qigong exercise, knocking on the door of life. We're gonna turn from our hips and waist. Let the front hand be an open palm that slaps your belly. Even the inside of the arm comes and makes contact across your belly. Across this area we call the belt channel. It's the only horizontal meridian in the body. It wraps around at the level of your navel, around the belly and the back. And that's where your backhand's hitting too, is the level of the navel, but at the back. So you're hitting your low back muscles next to the spine here. Some people, their shoulders are really tight and they just can't reach up that high. So that's okay if you come and just knock on the butt or the back of the hips here, just like this if you're really tight. But if you can reach, come up. Use a light fist, give yourself a little low back massage. Just a couple deep breaths. Not too hard, not too light. Remember the movement is in the spine. It's not in the legs. We're not kind of saying getting loose in the legs. We're grounded in the legs, turning at the core. Stimulating the energy 
at our center, at our belt channel. It'll add a little more twist looking over one shoulder. Look behind yourself. You can stay strong in the legs, so try not to feel like you're kind of twisting and collapsing in the legs. Legs stay strong and rooted, so we have a little ball between our knees, keeping them from collapsing inwards. And the twist is just from the waist up. Remember, with all these exercises, only going into the range of motion that feels comfortable for you. It's going to be a little different for everybody, but listening to that in your own body is going to keep you from creating more problems with our solutions here. So you're going to listen to your body where there's sharp pain. You want to stay away from those areas. Just relax to the center. Feel your body. Feel your chi. All right, we're going to start to go into more of our meditative movements. These are to really open up the energy flow through the body, which is sort of the hidden secret to Qigong, things that sets it apart from sort of modern physical therapy interventions and things like this, is accessing this mind-body connection and flow of energy. So this one's called Lao Tzu, Strokes the Beard. We're going to have our palms face up, we come up. Lao Tzu is sort of a Taoist philosopher from 2,500 years ago. And he supposedly has a very long white beard. So we're going to stroke that beard, have your fingers by your chin, pressing forward like your fingers comb through a long beard. Sink back with your low back, tuck your tailbone, sink your chest. Your arms come forward until they're round, so you should see like a hoop in your arms. Your tailbone is tucked. Again, you remember to feel an opening at the um, hip flexors, or what we call the qua in Qigong. So you don't want to feel like you're kind of hinging at the hips. The hip flexors are open, and the abdomen is a little closed actually, your abdominal muscles. Turn your palms down. We're going to relax. Do another round. Lao Tzu strokes the beard. Around, over the shoulders, stroking the beard, press forward. Imagine someone's pulling you back by your shirt, just behind your belly button. Good. Pulling you back. We're going to pause here, take a couple deep breaths. Try to also feel your head, crown of the head reaching up and the chin tucking back. So we're not like this. Chin tucks back and crown lifts. We lengthen the neck as well. Try to breathe to your low to mid back, just like we did in the beginning with kidney breathing. Let this whole area open up. Turn your palms down, press down, relax. Ah, very good. A closing motion. Palms over the low back. We're going to brush down the back of the legs, following the bladder channel, and then brushing up the inside of the legs, following the kidney channel, from the front of your hips to the belly. And the hands float off the belly up towards the sky. And the hands come slowly back down. We just scan with our awareness down through the body, head to toe, slowly. Down out the feet. And the palms back to the low back. Inhale. Exhale, brush the bladder channel, the yang water channel. Inhale up the kidney channel, the yin water channel. Float off the belly. Exhale. And inhale, drawing down like rain is falling through the upper body. Exhale like rain is falling through the lower body. 
Inhale to the low back. Exhale, brushing down. Inhale, brushing up. Exhale, floating up. Inhale, imagine calming, relaxing rain falling through your upper body, softening your muscles, calming your nerves. Exhale it down through the lower body, dripping off to the earth. One more time, inhale. Exhale like water pours down the back of the legs. You can bend your knees if you need to. You don't even have to come all the way to the feet. Inhale up inside of the legs. Exhale like steam rising into clouds. Inhale like calming rain falls through the upper body. Exhale calming rain down through the lower body. From here we step the feet in, close together. We can find a spot and bring our hands over the belly. Let your body relax into bamboo in the wind. Let's continue those relaxing long breaths. Let your body rock and sway. It's letting the energy move through us. We get out of the way by relaxing the muscles. Just take a few deep breaths as we let this energy move gently through us. Just letting the system balance and harmonize. Step out with one foot. Take your hands to the hips. Let's do a little hip circle to end. Just helping the chi move through your lower body, through your core. And go the other direction. To the center. And relax. Good. All right, hopefully the energy is flowing a little smoother. Try to keep with this routine. And let me know how it works. All right, thank you so much. Hey, if you found this video helpful, you can head on over to nickloffery.com. Also, you can help support the channel by liking, subscribing. Those are all the things, right? Commenting. And that'll help us keep producing all this cool free content for you. All right, thanks so much, nickloffery.com.